Welcome back. As we get into our sporting lineup this weekend, it is mouth-watering on all fronts. Most notably, rugby. Why? Because the rugby championships is renewed this weekend. South Africa taking on Argentina at what I hope will be a sold-out Loftus tomorrow at about 5 o'clock. Follow our sports producer back in the hot seat. Yeah. What a fantastic way to round off what has been a great year of rugby. The rugby championships, it gets less and less forgiving every year. Um, we've got, obviously, a, a well-balanced squad with a lot of you um, young players coming into it. But what do you make of the, the current box squad? Um, the current box squad, I thought, was very good. Um, I liked what Heineken May has done, especially with the back line. Yeah. Um, you've got about three, three players in there that haven't really played. Um, the Andre Pollard, Damien Delindy, and Cornell Hendricks. And then around them, you've got Jean de Villiers, Ruan Pinar, Brian Abana, um, and Vili LaRue, some guys with some experience. So it should be good. It's, it's the perfect balance. Most notable absentee, Faree Dupria. How do we handle that halfback space? Um, I think that seems to be our biggest hiccup. Yeah, you know, a lot of people will criticize Ruan Pinar and say like he doesn't get enough quick ball out of the, out of the breakdown. But um, at the same time, I think he's a quality player. and with the players that he has at like fly half and inside center as long as we get the ball i think we should be <laughs> fine because we've got some exciting players that can make it happen for us and kubis rana he's proved with the sharks that he is the man for the job if they just give him that gap mm -hmm. well you spoke about them getting the ball that is going to be absolutely vital that our forwards come to the party we are missing the the talisman himself victor matfield who of course stepped in beautifully as our springbok captain how much are we going to miss him when we take into account that south africa's dominance certainly against new zealand and australia is going to be the set pieces yeah um you're going to miss Victor Matfield. Um, yeah. Any team in the entire world is going to miss a player like Victor Matfield. However, I think with Jean coming back, that leadership um, of Victor Matfield is not going to be missed just as much. We've also got Busy in the front row, so that should be fine for us. And also, we're lucky in the sense that we've got um, Victor's blood brother uh, <laughs> yeah, and Bucky's Bucky's there, yeah. And uh, hopefully, Bucky's can just put his hand over Luth de Yaga's um, shoulder and just, and just show the young man how this should be done. And, we should be fine. Yeah, and Lurt seems to possess a wisdom far beyond his ears yeah. as well. So a very exciting player there. Um, um, one player that I have to mention, because he kind of goes against the grain, Vili LaRue, seems to have been given free reign by Heineken Mayer to play his free-running rugby. How important is he going to be during this campaign? Uh, Vili LaRue is so interesting because he just comes like he just comes into the back line as if like he wasn't told to be there but he was told <laughs> to be there and looking at a game like um, this week or the old Saturday's game you're looking at a Damien Delendi and Jean de Villiers where they can interplay 12 and 13 they can change all the time throw in a Vili LaRue into the mix the defense is going to be asking themselves so many questions and um, I think I think Vili LaRue will be a very important player come um, come the games against Australia and New Zealand and uh, yeah of course, we've got the small hurdle of Argentina. We saw them playing a very game-disrupting style of rugby. They attack the, the breakdown. Do you think they've got enough this season? They've got a new coach um, in the form of Daniel Hawkeye. Hopefully, he can inject some new impetus there. They play with the passion, yes. Do they have the strength and the skills to take on the box tomorrow? Well, I guess only time will tell. Um, the, they were away at a high-performance um, center in like the United States, I believe it was, like a month before, before the competition. So obviously, they're taking it quite seriously. Very they're seriously, not, yeah. yeah, they're not here to just make up the numbers. But um, we're the second best team in the entire world, so I'd, it's going to be tough. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be tough, but I don't see us crumbling to Argentina. Then I think uh, very much deciding who's going to be the best team in the world. The Bledisloe Cup would decide, of course. Our, uh, we've got New Zealand up against Australia in their yep. first taste of the championships. Which way do you think it's going to go? Oof, uh, I'll be, you'd have to be a brave man to bet against New Zealand, but after the season that um, the Australian rugby's had, you don't know exactly what's going to happen. But I, I'd have to say New Zealand. They just it's such a quality side. Who goes this whole season unbeaten? Yeah, I mean, and of course crazy. they've got Richie McCaw back at the helm exactly. now. Dan Carter looking like he was never injured at all. It is going to be a superb rugby championship. Follow, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to have lots of chats over the coming weeks, but you can make your predictions. Let us know on our Facebook page. Where do you think we um, the rugby title is going to go this year? It's going to be a fierce rugby championships. In fact, Alice Vatmalis is our rugby this morning. In fact, it's a new movie <laughs> releasing. We've got one of the stars in studio joining us this morning to explain to us a little bit about how the filming process went, why this is a must-see pick this season. Let's get a sneak peek.